Hello there. This morning we're going to look at intonation. Do you know what that is? Intonation. It's related to pronunciation and it's the stress patterns, the ups and downs and all of the ways that we raise our voice when we are speaking, the tone of our voice. Hello, you know? Hello. Hi. <coughs> Hello, you know, I don't think I know you, you know. Where Hello? are you from? Hi. Have you been on Verbling? Uh, have you been on Verbling long? Hello, Brazil. Hello. Hello. Uh, where, where are you from? Where do you live? I, I'm from England. I live in England now. Where do you live? You know. Your country. Hello? Hello, can Brazil? you hear me? Brazil? Yes. Yes. Brazil? Ah. Yes. Do you like football? Yes. I like it's football. A kind of is a kind of loop when I talk. Well, I think you should close the verbling page so that only the only the hangout page is open. So inside the hangout, close the other page. Okay, I close it. It's Hello? It's now, better now. Yes, I I had this problem a few times. Okay. Because when you open the Hangout, it opens a new tab, and the old tab is still listening. Okay. Good. And do you actually play football? No, I prefer basketball. Yeah, at school we used to play basketball uh, indoors quite often, but yeah. um, basketball isn't such a popular sport for everybody in England. There are basketball places and some good teams. Actually, uh, my first experience of basketball was um, with Americans because um, we, my father used to like playing um, playing basketball on the American air base. Nice. But I've never been a great fan of basketball. Have you played in a team? Yes, I used to play in a, in a team when I was, uh, was a teenager. And uh, in some clubs here in, in Brazil. And uh, it was nice. I, I, I play I used, uh, every week, every Wednesday I play basketball with friends. I like basketball, but I'm not so good at it. I, I'm quite tall. Are you tall? Yes, uh, not uh, tall at uh, like uh, basketball players, but uh, uh, one met meter and eight, one point eight. No, one one eight. Oh, one point eight. Yes, one point yeah. eight. Not one meter eight. One one point eight yeah, meters. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. one meter eight is not one point eight, is it? Yeah. It's very short. But one, uh, yes. Well, that's tall. That's quite tall, I think. That's quite tall. And what do you think helps people be good at basketball? What kind of people are good at basketball? Uh, you need to, to train a lot, practice a lot when you are young because it's something that you cannot learn, you know, uh, uh, older because uh, you have to. I uh, start the basic stuff, you know, and when you are adult, I think you don't have patience to to do that. Yeah. And uh, 
Uh, it's like uh, every sport. If you uh, invest your time to to learn, you're going to uh, you're going to be good after some years. You know. Yeah, and can it be possible if you are not very tall? Can it be possible to be a good basketball player? Yeah, sure. Uh, you have a lot of uh, basketball players that uh, is not very tall and they play very nice. Uh, last year we we had an example of that because uh, New York Knicks uh, they take a player uh, from another team for a while and uh, the guy it was uh, uh, played very well and now he's very famous at the NBA. Great, yes. Uh, and do you play any other sports? You know, I mean, for me, yes. uh, I, I like some different sports. What sports do you like? I practice jiu-jitsu, fight, you know. Oh, yeah, I know um, the Brazilian jiu-jitsu, yeah. Yeah, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Uh, in I London practice. they have this, yeah. Ah, oh. in London, <laughs> nice. I like uh, it's uh, only a, a year uh, practicing, but uh, I really like it's different. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, now I'm uh, and uh, also sometimes golf I play. Golf? Uh, that's something I've played just a little. Yes. Uh, just a little. Yes, it's very hard to 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 learn. Actually, um, I remember a club of jujitsu, and it, and the badge was um, from the Amazon, and the badge was of the London club came came from a Brazilian, and he brought it to England, and he's it was um the big snake from the river in the Amazon. Yes. Uh, the um, the an anaconda. Do you know this? Anaconda, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I don't do so much right now because I, I've been moving and ha I've not been training and doing so much these days. But uh, are you pr practicing every week? Yes. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu three times a week. Oh, wow. Great. That's good. So you're quite yeah. fit now then. Quite... Uh, Good shape. Yes, I I, I lost uh, almost ten kilos in one year. Wow, nice. Yes. Yeah. Great. Well, let's see who else is in the room then. Um, it's it's great to have people from Brazil and Spain and everywhere in the world. I've got Rafael from Spain, so we've got a few yeah. people here. Of course, Brazilians and uh, and Spanish people don't actually speak the same language. Because Rafael speaks Spanish, can you speak Spanish, um, Juno? Can you speak a bit of Spanish? I can understand, but uh, more than talk. <laughs> hmm. I might like to learn Spanish um, later on because I've been learning Hungarian, and Hungarian is quite difficult compared to Spanish. Mm -hmm. So, what languages do you speak, by the way, Juno? Uh, only Portuguese, a little bit English, and uh, a little bit uh, Korean. Korean? That must be difficult. Yes, it's a little bit. You know, I, I was interested about the Korean system of writing. Do you know anything about that? Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Because I've seen the circles and it's something about phonetics. Uh, yeah, uh, because uh, it's a... Uh, Quite uh, similar at our alphabet, like uh, we have the vowels, but uh, the number of vowels in Korean is uh, a little bit more, and uh, it is the same logic of combination to to write. So it's uh, very simple if you compare to Japanese or Chinese, that uh, they have a lot of of kind of letters and meanings, you know, and uh, uh, f for this reason, uh, sometimes I think uh, it's a little bit easier to understand Korean or to learn Korean because the basis is the same, you know, for, uh, for, for us. Yeah, and was there any particular reason for you learning Korean? For me? Yeah. Why did you decide to learn Korean? Because n not everybody in Brazil thinks about learning Korean. Yes, because of uh, my family. My family, we are Korean, but uh, I, I was born here in Brazil. Oh, yes, I see now. Yes, I see. Okay, well, uh, so your family 
some of your family can speak Korean very well then. Yes. Ah, yeah, I see. Yes, that that's um I, I'm married um a, a, a lady from um Hungary and that's why I speak Hungarian now. So uh, that's interesting. Great. So today, well, we're going to look at a, a bit of intonation. Can you tell me what intonation is, you know? Do you know what um, I mean by the word intonation? Could you just say something about that? Uh, it's something related to how you speak something to give more understanding for something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's something about that. And, um, you know... Without good intonation, sometimes the same sentences can actually come across or be understood in different ways. So that's what we're going to look at today. And maybe later we'll read a little text as well, which has quite a lot of um, longer sentences with commas okay. and intonation practice. But um, let's see who's here first of all. Carlos, hi there. I haven't met you before, have I? Carlos, are you there? No sound, Carlos. Uh, uh, microphone muted, is it? So, we'll be looking at um, some sentences in a moment. How's it going, Carlos? Can you find your mic? Let's see who else is here then. Right. No, no sound at all. I'll come back to you in a moment, Carlos. Emesha, are you there? Do you have the mic? Can you speak? Can you say hello? <laughs> no, no sound. Well, you know, if really, if you don't have sound. You should really wait, watch from the outside because you can, can hear. Can you and hear me? Yeah, now Carlos, I can hear you. Yeah. Okay, so my microphone was um, <laughs> was not sound. Okay, hello everyone. Hello. hello. So tell us about yourself. Hello. Where are you from? Okay, I'm from Spain. I'm Spanish, and I'm here to improve my English and now another people. And I live in La Mancha, a region from Castilla, from Castilla La Mancha, in the center of Spain, uh, where is well now the Don Quixote de La Mancha. I'm from the lamb on Don Quixote, from the lamb of Don Quixote. Is it very hot in the center of Spain? Because I've only been to the coast. I've been to Alicante, and in yeah, uh, it's cooler sometimes. But is it hotter in the center? Okay, not not now because uh, we are in winter. But in summer, yes, it's very hot. And the, the difference between the highest temperature and the minimum temperature is, is, is high. So we can reach maybe 40 degrees in July or August between the day, among the day. And minimum, maybe 18. So in summer, it's very hot. But in winter, it's very cold. Well, this is like Hungary, because Hungary is a long way from the coast. And so when I lived in Hungary, Every summer we had over 40 degrees and mm -hmm. um, every winter we could sometimes go minus 20 and, okay. and lower. No, okay, so here is not as cold as Hungary. Here we can reach a uh, minus 3 degrees below zero, but not mm. more, not, not approximately in winter. So the difference between winter and summer is, 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 is huge. Okay, but we sometimes call that a continental climate. Yes. Um, and it's not the kind of climate I get here because, look, I want to show you something that I'm going to do in the next lesson, actually. Okay. If okay. I show you my screen, um, I'm, I'm looking at UK, U, the UK culture. Um, now, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's not, not loaded up at the moment, but um, yeah, you, do you know the southeast of England? For me, what. Is, 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 is talking, are you talking with me? Yeah. Have, have, you, uh, uh, have you ever been to England? Yes, I have been in, in London. Right. Uh, in yes. London, we, we have four seasons four season in the same day. Winter, uh, spring, summer and autumn in the same day we, we have this, this weather. 
sometimes it especially this time of year this at uh, this time of year this is quite typical yes. so uh, around easter time you I don't wasn't know, the screen you don't know what's going to happen yeah, okay and I yes yeah that's true so okay well let's let's see who else is here then we've got um, some people i've seen before emesha are you going to say just hello well the rules are really in verbling that you come here with your microphone to speak because if you are going to just listen then you can actually listen from from outside you can watch and listen from the verbling site so um that's really the best thing for you to do. So, Igor, welcome back. Hi. Hi there. You're politely waiting there. That's good of you. And we've got a few people I've seen before. Raphael, great. So let's let's crack on then. Let's get going. I've started saying crack on recently. I don't know why. I never used to say that. Let's get going now. Um, I will share the page with you here and send the link. So I'm just going to my Firefox where I have the page because in Firefox I have my pages to share so that it's not in Google Chrome and then it works better for me sometimes. So I'm looking at intonation and intonation. Carlos, can you give me your version of what you think intonation is? Uh, this um, For this text, Mr. Sherlock Holmes. Uh, well, just tell me what you think the word means, intonation. Just uh, describe it, define it for me. What do you In think? Intonation. So it depends of the mood of your, what are you talking about. If you are with friends or you are in an um, important meeting, it, it depends on intonation. If you want to point it out or point the main idea, if you want to, to underline your idea, you should do, uh, make a different intonation. It's the melody of or, ah read what is intonation in my own words. That no, that was right. That, that's great. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted you to uh, tell uh, me about it, and so it's about your voice. So uh, it says here. Well, can you read what it says here uh, up the top here? Yes, me. Yeah, read it for okay. me, please. Uh, in, intonation is the melody or tune of the spoken language. If you make mistakes with the sounds in English, the listener will often still understand you. If you make mistakes with the intonation, your mood or feelings about you, what you have said may be misunderstood. Misunderstood. Misunderstood, yeah. Misunderstood. So now I'd like to ask Igor to try um, to read maybe with Igor and you. Let's try two people. So Igor, um, I want you to be B and I want Carlos to be A. So, Carlos, you are A, and you say this, and then B Igor answers, disagreeing. Notice he, he answers disagreeing. We'll see how he does it. And then you ask this. Now, think about what you're going to say. So, Carlos, how are you going to say this? So, think about your in intonation. Remember, this is yeah. called a question tag. Okay. okay. First of all, let's prepare. What? When do we use this structure of question? Okay. Which is called a. The, uh, bef before you start, tell me, Carlos. When do you use this structure? It's called a tag at the end. The question tag. Okay. Uh, I am use one minute. I was calling. Um, uh, when are you touch? When you can you? Are you hear me? Uh, yeah, are you are you talking? Are you speak? Are you listening to me? I can hear you now. Yes. For example, me, 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 I say your name is John, isn't it? To to okay to then you can answer when you are, you when I say isn't it you can answer you you can't avoid yeah, and, uh, the, and also we use this this when we are just checking really. So if I say your name is John, isn't it? I'm going to I'm just going to say like a robot, but you are going to say it properly. So your name is John isn't it this structure is used to check so okay you you are uh, a and Igor is B are you ready Igor yes yes okay I so am. Carlos you start the conversation and okay. read it through uh, your name is John isn't it no it isn't uh, your name I uh, continue your name isn't John is it no it isn't Okay, I, I must say though, Carlos, your 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 
interesting what you, the way you read because you're you're showing some intonation. But let's let's look at the you you certainly know what intonation is, and you're certainly using intonation. But let's think about that intonation a bit more, and think about what's going on, and then I'll tell you how I think I would hear this. Uh, Igor um, has studied what what and practiced some of this, and so that was good, Igor, because notice that sometimes you're agreeing. Um, here you're disagreeing. Mm -hmm. So when you're disagreeing, you're going to show some surprise, and when you're agreeing, you're going to show less surprise. So uh, here, if we're sure about information, your name is John. we would say, your name's John, isn't it? Something like this. We're just checking. Your name, your name is John, isn't it? No, it isn't. So the no, it isn't ah. is really a, a bit of a surprise. No, it ah. isn't. Ah. It could be, oh, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. And then uh, here, ah, your name isn't John, is it? No, it isn't. So you yeah. see, finally, this is just, yeah, that's right. So if you agree with somebody, you don't really uh, show the same surprise. Let's try that once again. Can we try that once more, Carlos and um, Igor? Oh, okay, try again. Um, your name is John, isn't it? No, it isn't. Ah, oh, your name isn't John, is it? No, it isn't. Right, okay, that's good. So, so now... Um, so it was something like, where's that? We've got some noise somewhere. I'm oh, sorry. Okay, okay, fine. So just, um, it's very easy to mute your mic and unmute your mic in, in Burblings and in Hangouts. We've got some more noise now. Just uh, kill it, please. Okay, so that one was, your name's John, isn't it? When you think it's John, no, no, it isn't. Or, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. Who told you that? No, it isn't. And your name isn't John, is it? No, it isn't. So when you agree, we have one kind of flat intonation, flatter, not showing surprise. So um, intonation is the rising and falling tones, but not on one word, but it's n not quite stress patterns. Igor, what is the difference between stress and intonation? Sorry, could you repeat? What would you say is the difference between stress and intonation? Um, stress is uh, on uh, some words, stress, but intonation is uh, on uh, context. Yeah, even on parts of words. What do we call uh, emesha? Can you understand me? Hello? Okay, so... Um, what is the name for one part of a word? For example, information. Information here. Syllable. Yeah, has three syllables. So stress is about information. Da 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 da. So actually, this one, information, information. The third syllable is stressed, but this is the rising and falling across more words. Your name is John, isn't it? No, it isn't. Your name isn't John, is it? No, it isn't. So intonation is rising and falling across a whole sentence. And it tells us sometimes the difference between a statement and a question. So in English, unlike lots of other languages, I don't say um, you speak English. You you speak English. I don't say it like this. You speak English. Um, this is a statement, and we don't use this for questions. How do I make a question, Emesha? Emesha, uh, you speak English. Um, um, a question, please. A good question. You speak English. Can you? Um, Make a question. Make a question because you speak English is not good. You speak English. This is not good. This is a statement. How how can you ask a question? What is the question for this? Uh, you the do, question. Do 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 you speak 
Eng English. Yes, no. do you speak English? This is the question. And we have the intonation, do you speak English? Yes. Um, and how do you ask Emisha this? From where? Yeah. This is From not where? good. Not From good. Uh, how, how, nem, nem, how are you? No. That's a different question. Where are you? No, no that's another where question. Where are you from? Yes, where are you from? from? Where are you from? Good. Well done. So, let's look down on the screen for some practice sentences and then we're going to try to read um, maybe some more. So, um, here's an interesting one. Now, uh, let me. S no, let's let's see this one. This is an interesting one because we w this this is saying that we think somebody is not um, is a bit silly. Silly is not a bad word. Silly is not really um, slang or bad word. It's just it means he's behaving like a clown a little bit, not really um, sensibly. So silly is a bit like without sense. Can you say this for me, Emisha? So you see, you see somebody in the street, and they are behaving. Um, do you do you know this word silly, Emma? Should, do you know this word silly? Do you know sensible? Sensible. Yes, they can sensible. Sensible. Um, somebody is silly. If they are not behaving sensibly, they are behaving like a clown, they are messing about, they are um, not being serious. Silly. So um, I would say, silly old fool, silly old fool. Can you say, silly old fool? Who can say that for me? No. I think Juno can say that. <laughs> Maybe it's, it doesn't sound uh, like he would normally say that. My mother might say this. My mother would say something like this. Silly old fool. Uh, I, I, I would say something else, maybe. What would you say, Juno? Silly old fool, I don't know really the meaning, but uh, for me it's something like... Uh, uh, you might say crazy old fool, maybe. Crazy old fool. Uh, I don't know. What would you say? What do you think you would say if you see somebody who's old in the street? I don't know why they're old, but they are in this one. They're old. Uh, they could be young, but they're old, and they are doing strange things and behaving in a funny way, a strange way in the street, um, as if they are not very sensible and serious. What would you say? Uh, Silly old food, it's something that, uh, uh, you, uh, because the meaning of silly is like a, uh, somebody like a, uh, not a stupid way, in a, but uh, in a full way, a do way, I, I think. But uh, if uh, you say the all the sentences something related that uh, it's uh, all the time the the person behave like a silly I don't know I really don't know the meaning. Okay, well let's get on to a difficult question for you because we're nearly halfway now. Now, Emisha, concentrate. This is interesting. We have a sentence here, a little sentence. Here is the sentence here. So I should. So that is the sentence. Emesha, can you read the sentence? I didn't steal the books from the library. library. Right. Now, no. I didn't steal the books from the library. Right. The library. Now, I have... That's good. That's good. But now I want to see if we can use our voice to emphasize some of the meaning. Now, I stole the books, but not from the library. Library. I stole the books, but not from the library. How library. do I say it? Can you, 
Do you understand now? I stole the books, yes, I stole the books, but not from the library. Let's try, you know, can you try to read it this way? Uh, I didn't steal the books from the library. Now, I would uh, say for this number one, for A, to, to tell somebody that you did steal the books, but not uh, from the library. So, I stole the books, but not from the library. Yeah, but keep the same words, and can you do it, with just intonation? I didn't steal the books from the library. Can you hear me? I yes. didn't steal the books from the library. And if I say this, I didn't steal the books from the library, the policeman is asking me about my bad behavior. He knows I stole the books. So I'm saying I didn't steal the books. The words are there. I didn't steal the books, but I'm saying I did steal the books. Can you see? I did really steal the books, but I say I didn't steal the books. Only my voice is telling you the truth. I didn't steal the books from the library, so uh, you stole the books, didn't you? Yes, I did. Um, you stole them, and the policeman said, yeah, and you stole them from the library, didn't you? No, I didn't steal the books from the library. I stole them from the school. Okay? Okay. Can you say that now? Can you say A? I, this one? The A? Yeah, it, but uh, use the, you, you must use the same words, just like I did. So you have uh, to say, uh, tell me that you stole the books, but you didn't steal them from the library. So you didn't, I didn't steal the books from the library. So library uh, gets lifted, library. Okay, I didn't steal the books from the library. Right, and, and now uh, add some more. So now do it again and add a bit more at the end. Okay. I didn't steal the book from the library. And now tell me some more. You stole them from? Uh, I stole the books, but not, not from the library. I stole right. the books from the school. That was very well done. So now I'm going to look for somebody else to go for the next one now. Igor, I would like you to look at number two. I deny it. I never did such a thing. So you're just denying it, flatly denying the whole thing. So how would you read it this time? I deny it. I never did such a thing. Now you have to go to the original sentence which says, I didn't steal the books from the library. You have to read this, but the first time I read it to say, that I did actually steal the books, but not from the library, from somewhere else. And I said, the policeman said, hey, you stole the books, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, sorry. Yeah, it was me. Yeah, I was caught. I w it was me. And he said, you stole them from the library. And I say, I didn't steal the books from the library, but I did steal the books. So now you need to say, I didn't steal the books from the library but you deny all of it. How do you say it? I deny it. Yeah, and use the same words as, use the words, I didn't steal the books from the library. Only those words. I didn't steal the books from the library. Yeah, that's quite good actually, because when you say that, I, I think you just didn't do it. You didn't do it. I didn't, I didn't steal the books from the library. If you stress I, listen, I didn't steal the books from the library. I didn't steal the books from the library. Can you hear? I didn't steal the book I, from the I, library. I, I, didn't. I didn't. Yeah, that then but why it not means on it, didn't? Why not on didn't? Yeah, that would work too, wouldn't it? I, I didn't steal the books. But if you say didn't, uh, it maybe you stole something else. So if you say, uh, uh, I didn't steal the books from the library, or yeah, okay, well, it could be didn't too, but that, so let's look at the different possibilities for this sentence. So let's see if we can um, look at C. It says, it wasn't me that stole them, it was somebody else. That would be the I, wouldn't it? I didn't steal the books from the library, it was him. So I didn't steal the books from the library, it was him. Can you say that, Igor? I didn't I, steal the books from the library, it was him. I didn't steal the books from the library, it was him. Right. That's good. And let's see um, 
if now, Igor, you can go through all of them, A, B, C, D, E, and then I'll pass on to the next person. So demonstrate the next one, please. So uh, I didn't, you just said, I didn't steal the books from the library. It was him. And A was, um, I didn't steal the books from the library. I stole them from the school. Okay. So A is, I, I didn't steal... I didn't steal the books from the library, I stole them from the school. B is, I didn't steal the books from the library. I was nowhere there. I was nowhere to be seen. I was, I was at my mother's house. I didn't steal the books from the library. As you said, stressing didn't. And the C, it wasn't me that stole them, it was somebody else. I didn't steal the books from the library, it was Tom. I didn't steal the books from the library, it was Tom. D. Okay, I stole them. It's a fair cop. I was caught red-handed, but I stole them from the school and not the library. Uh, that's actually my first one. Um, so that's the same as A, I think. Um, so I, I didn't steal the books from the library. I stole them somewhere else. What about E? What does that say? I borrowed the books from the library. Um, how would you say that one? I borrowed the books from the library. So, which word would you stress for E, Igor? So the policeman says, I'm the policeman, I say to you, hey, you took those books from the library, didn't you, Igor? You took those books. I saw you on the camera. You took those books. So read the sentence now for E. Anybody? Uh, the E? Yeah, how would you do E? So the policeman says, but I saw you. I saw on the video camera you put the books in your bag and took them out of the library. Come on now. I saw you. I, you say, I, I, I didn't steal the book from the library. I borrowed the books from so the library. So you say, yeah, but so I you borrowed. say, I, I didn't steal the books from the library. I didn't. I didn't steal the books from the library. Okay, I didn't steal the books from the library. I borrowed the books. Yes, that's good. I didn't steal the books from the library. I borrowed them. Good. So, um, let's see if I can ask Maria to try these. Maria, are you there on the mic? I didn't steal the books from the library. I borrowed the books from the library. Maria, are you here? Rodriguez? No? I got Emisha to um, say one or two words. Maybe, Emisha, you could try these now. Are you ready to try, Emisha? Um... I did. I didn't steal the books from the library. I borrowed the books from the library. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't. Can you say it like with the, the a bit more stress on the word steal? So we see that word stress, a stressed word, is related to intonation. So I didn't steal the books from the library. I, I borrowed them. Can you say, I didn't steal the books from the library, I, I borrowed them. I didn't steal the books from, from the library. Yeah, from the, from the library. Drop, drop on the end, because you stressed library too. You said library, library, going up. Can library, you hear library? Library. library. This means library. arts. Library. When you say library, 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 library. I think, oh, not the library. Li I, not the library, but... but Keep the library flat down. I didn't steal. I didn't steal the books from the library. That's going library up. Oh, I stole them from the school. But no, we want. I didn't steal the books from the library. I borrowed them. Can you say? I borrowed the books from the library. Yeah. Okay. That's good work. Nice. Nice voice. Juan, are you here? Juan. <laughs> yes, it's true. Could you try going through these for me, please? Did you understand what we're doing? Well, um, sort of, teacher. I guess uh, you're trying to, uh, okay, the, according to, to this lady, she's saying I didn't steal the books from the library. So it's like the...
contrary on example A, I guess. So let's try example A where you have to read I didn't steal the books from the library and you have to communicate the mm -hmm. meaning that you stole the books but not from the library. Mm -hmm. So first I want you to imagine another place that you stole mm -hmm. them from. Yes. And then a friend's house for example. Yeah, and then say the sentence and then give me the extra information. Can you say that for me now? Sure. So I should say for example I didn't steal the books from the library. I stole the books from my friend's house. Good, perfect. That's really nice. I didn't steal my, the books from the library. I stole them from my friend's house. Great. So now just try um, a flat den denial. You know, you were not involved at all. So at the end of the sentence, I want you to say, I had nothing at all to do with it, or something like that. What words will you use to say that? you were nowhere around or you had nothing to do with it. Do you know any words like that? Yeah, had... for example, like, um, for example, can it be like, uh, it wasn't me or I wasn't there at that I time? Just wrote down, I just wrote down that one, it wasn't me. I it wasn't was there me. at the time. I've got an alibi. I've got a cast iron al alibi. Do you know? Cast iron. How do you spell it, teacher? Cast iron is um cast. Just a moment. Who can write that for me to save me? Cast iron is it hyphenated? I think not. How do you write cast iron? I think it's just two words. Yeah, cast iron. Cast iron is very strong alibi. A cast oh. iron alibi. That's what the police might say. They'd say, "Well, he's come up with this cast iron alibi." So. Read it now, Joanne, and de de deny it. Just strongly deny the whole thing. Okay, so do I have to read the letter B and then deny it, right? Well, or you have to read the, every time you have to read the same words from the sentence. Okay. The words, I didn't steal mm -hmm. the books. That, those words have to be used every time. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Well, let me, let me uh, try this way. I deny it. I never did such a thing. It wasn't me, actually. Okay, now use the, the words of the sentence to show this idea. So, you have to probably stress the first word, I, because it's not me. I. So, I didn't do it. I didn't steal the books from the library. It was Tom. I was nowhere around. It wasn't me. I had nothing to do with it. Okay, can you do that, please? Yes, on the second example, right, on, yeah. on letter B, okay, I denied, I never did such a thing, it was someone else, really was someone else. Okay, but you have to also use the original sentence, so you haven't used the original sentence with I, so the first sentence, I didn't steal the books from the library. Okay. Because that and that so, has to be I, I at the beginning. I didn't or I okay. didn't I didn't steal them. Okay, so it, it can be like um I didn't steal the books from the library. It was That sounded a little that sounded a little bit like um steel was uh going up the you okay. said I, I didn't steal make... I didn't steal steal and you okay. went steal so you have to make sure that the other words don't get lifted too much so I didn't steal the books from the library the rest of it just goes down I didn't okay. st I didn't steal the books from the library it wasn't me I didn't steal the book from the library it wasn't me Brilliant, that's perfect. So that made it really clear that you were just flatly denying it. So now, Juan, stay on the mic and try. It wasn't me that stole them, it was somebody else. So is that similar? It, mm -hmm. It's pretty much the same, isn't it? In fact, yeah. a flat denial is the same. So B and C are quite similar. So let's go to um, D. This one is, okay, I stole them. It's a fair cop. 
but I stole them from the school and not the library. So read it that way, please. Okay, teacher, do you want me to read the letter, only the letter D or C? No, I want you to read the original sentence each time, meaning D. So the meaning is going to be D, but you read the words, I didn't steal the books from the library. Every time you read that, those words, but okay. you change the meaning of it. Okay. Okay, so it will be like, I didn't steal the book from the library. And it then, wasn't me. Ah, okay. but, yeah, but uh, you need to say you didn't. You stole them from somewhere else, okay? Yes. So I didn't steal the books from the library. I stole them from the shop. Say that, please. Okay. I didn't steal the book from the library. It wasn't me. I did stole the books from the store. Yes. Okay. Um, it, it's coming across about seventy-five percent. But, but, so that, let's think about how these stress patterns and intonations work because it's something to do with volume, it's something to do with tone as well, it's something to do mm -hmm. with the tone of the voice going up or down. Sometimes um, it just trundles down, uh, but sometimes it goes whoop up. So I didn't steal the books from the library, 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 I didn't steal the books from the library. I stole them from the school. So now E is the last one, Yuan. So I, you borrowed the books. You didn't steal them. So, so read it this way. Okay. Yeah, can you please repeat it one more time, teacher, just to make sure that I'm going to say it properly? I'll, I'll, I'll do it first, if you like. So if you want to say that you borrowed the books, so that on the video camera, the video mm -hmm. camera in the library, is being shown to you by the security guard and he said look there you are putting the bag putting all of the books into your bag and walking out and you are telling the security guard that actually you've already checked out those books and you left them on the table to go and look for another book you came back and you put them in your bag but you had already borrowed them properly so mm -hmm. you say I didn't steal the books from the library. I borrowed them. I didn't steal the books from the library. I borrowed them. Can you say that? I didn't steal the books from the library. I borrowed them. It sounded like you were stressing library a bit and steal didn't get really lifted. So I didn't steal the books. I didn't steal. Steal. I didn't steal the books. And notice sometimes if you stress one word, you drop and let the listener catch that word. That is the word you're saying. Steal. I didn't steal the books from the library. So you're I saying didn't... I didn't steal. Okay. Okay. Let, let, let me try one more time. It is like I didn't steal the books from the library. But the books, you, you lifted the books again. So by lifting the books, the books, did you hear the books? You mm -hmm. made me think that the books is what you didn't steal. So you have to drop the books. You have to say, I didn't steal the books from the library. The books okay. have to be dropped a bit so that everyone thinks you are saying, I didn't steal. You are saying, I didn't steal. I didn't steal the books from the library. The books from the library is like an extra piece of information. So I didn't steal the books from the library. I only borrowed them. Say that. I didn't steal the books from the library. I only borrowed them. Perfect. Yeah, that was it that time. I could really understand that you are saying to me that you didn't steal them. You borrowed them. You didn't steal the books. You borrowed them. Yes. Right. Great. So, um, let's see if uh, maybe Nagan, can you just have a go at this as well? And then we'll try and move on, Raphael as well. Nagan, are you there? Yeah. I'm so, uh, were you listening? Good. Can you try, first of all, to say that you didn't do it at all? You were nowhere around. You, you were nowhere around around and, and it was nothing to do with you. So I want you to read the sentence and then after the sentence say um, 
I was not in town. I was not in town. Okay? You weren't, or I, I wasn't there. You can say, I wasn't there. So can you read the sentence and say, it was nothing to do with you. Read the sentence, please. I was not in town. Yes, but first you have to read, I didn't steal the books from the library. I wasn't in town. I was not in town. I was out of town. I wasn't there. So read the first sentence too. The first Can you see sentence. The, the, the sentence, I didn't steal the books from the library. That sentence. So here we're trying to say, it was nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with me. I wasn't there. So I didn't steal the books from the library. I wasn't there. I didn't steal the books from the library. It couldn't have been me. I wasn't there. I was away all weekend. Can you say that? I didn't. So here, I didn't. I didn't steal the books from the library. I. <laughs> yeah. I did. I, uh, yeah. I didn't steal. I didn't steal the books from the library. Is it? <laughs> Yeah. It was there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. So, and and one more from you. So, try this yeah. one. Try to say to me that you didn't steal the books from the library, but you stole them from a shop. Can you say that? I didn't steal the books from the library. I stole them from a shop. Say that. I didn't steal. I didn't I, no, steal I didn't, the books from. I didn't steal. I didn't steal no, no, now not I, but I didn't steal the books from the library, the library, the library. No. I stole them from a shop. I, I didn't steal the book from the library. I stole the shop. Yeah, okay. Let me try Raphael now. Are you there patiently waiting, Raphael? Yes, I'm Let's patiently try you on this one, then. waiting for you. <laughs> yeah, good, good. You're, this is going to be interesting because yeah. I think, Raphael, uh, your knowledge of English is really good, but probably, to be fair, your, your weak point is maybe pronunciation. So let's see how it goes. Are you listening carefully? Yeah. Right, let's try them. Um, so you've got your sentences. You need the first sentence, and mm -hmm. then you need a finishing sentence. So try some. Can you try one or two? Which ones can you do? Mm, I, I have to choose one, one, one meaning. Maybe you can choose the first meaning that you said, that you, uh, I stole the books but not from the library. So think about yeah. what you're going to say and try to say that. I didn't steal the books from the library. I steal from the shop. And the past tense of steal is stole. I stole from the shop. Yes. Actually, that was interesting, Raphael, because you did something with the intonation. Um, I didn't steal the books from the library, and it worked. You see, I was teaching it like this. I didn't steal the books from the library. As long as you stress the library like this, but you also stress didn't. And that works, because logically it works. I didn't steal the books from the library. I stole them from the shop. Great. Good. And um, let's try that you just borrowed the books? I didn't steal the books from the library. I borrowed from the, from that, from the book from the library. Well here, the, the important contrasting word is steal. Steal is matching with borrow. So you say, I didn't steal the books from the library, I borrowed them. So you have to match those words, steal, borrow, join them, in your intonation. So, I didn't steal the books, I borrowed them. I didn't steal the books from the library, I borrowed them. I didn't steal the book from the library, I borrowed them. Ah, but you are stressing library, can you hear? Yeah. You're saying, I didn't steal the books from the library, I borrowed them. And then I get confused because I'm concentrating on library. Um, you should make sure that I concentrate on steal and borrow. Steal and borrow are the important words. So, I didn't steal I didn't steal the books. I didn't steal the books from the library. I borrowed them. 
the most like, important thing is steel from the steel from the books. No? Yeah, steel yes. is steel. only the only the word steel is important because yeah. we know it's books. All of it is books. So I want steel and borrow coming yes. strongly. Uh, for 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 instance, and you you have to uh, to stress the most important word that you want to say. And and actually, this time you are communicating the stealing and borrowing, be, because you say I didn't steal mm -hmm. the books. Yeah. You did take the books, but you didn't steal the books. You took them, but you didn't steal the books. So I didn't steal the books from the library. I borrowed them. I got it. I didn't steal the books from the library. I borrowed them. Well. Steel, you, you said your steel was a little bit like steel. Oh. It was dropping in intonation, and library were, needs not lib. Li, libra is Spanish, is it? I don't know. Library. Li library. library. So <laughs> I'm picking on you and asking you to do it again and again. But let's. Yeah, I think we perfect. need to ask somebody else. But um, yeah, I'll work on it later a bit more. But let's see. Kim, are you here? Kim. Hello, Kim. Do you have a microphone, Kim? Microphone? Oh. Hi, Leon. I am not. I am here. I have been here three lessons. Yeah, three classes with you, and you you are not acknowledging that oh, I am in Emma, the class. Sorry. Okay. Can you talk to me this time? Is that okay? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Thank it, you very much. You can you can try this Thank one. Thank you very like. much indeed. Okay. Yeah. So now. Please tell me what I have to do. Sorry, um, uh, I remember last lesson actually that um, we had yeah, a problem with the sound. Yeah, it has been three lessons. It's three lessons already that uh, have you I been am listening there now? hanging. Have oh, you been listening? Of course, of course, yeah. I have been here for one hour. Yes. Try, try this. Um, try this exercise right through. Then, so you know what you've got to do. You've got to always use the first sentence. So those words, I didn't steal the books from the library. Those words. You use every time, okay. but but you add some extra words to show different meanings, and actually uh, maybe some of those meanings are similar. So um, okay, uh, so first I have to say I didn't, I didn't steal the books from the library, yeah. Is that okay? Um, that that sounds like uh, you just t you're just telling me it wasn't you. Were you just telling me that? Yeah, yeah, I am. So, yeah. So <laughs> let's try uh, to to emphasize something now. So, you're this time in A. You're going to emphasize that yes, you stole them, but not from the library. Okay. okay. So now I say. So you have to finish the sentence. You read the sentence, okay. and then you tell me where you actually stole them from. Okay. I yes. So I first I say I didn't stole the I didn't steal the books from the library. I stole them. I stole the books, but not from the library. Well, when you re read the first sentence, you need to stress the word library. So you say, because if you don't, it doesn't make sense. Because if you say, I didn't, if you speak like a robot, I, I mean, you didn't speak like a robot, but if you speak like a robot and you say, I didn't steal the books from the library, the meaning is you didn't steal the books from the library. But if you want to say <coughs> you stole the books but not from the library, you need to change your voice and say, I didn't steal the books from the library, I stole them from the shop. So try something like that. I didn't steal the books from the library, I stole the books from the shop. Yeah, that's perfect that time. And now another one you need to try is another meaning. So. For example, it wasn't you, it was somebody else. So you read the sentence and then you tell me who it was. Uh, it was it wasn't it wasn't me that, that I stole them. It was somebody else. And now use the original sentence to say that. Okay. So I didn't you, no, I didn't no, stole the books. No. No, this one would be I didn't steal the books from the library. It was Tom. I did. I okay. didn't. I didn't. I didn't steal the books from the library. It was Tom. That's it. That's it. You had it there. Do that once again, please, for everyone to listen to. 
I did and I steal no, the books I, from you the changed guy. a bit, so I didn't. I didn't. I did so and I, I steal. Okay. Doop, boom, I, I didn't. Okay. I did and I steal the books from the library. It was Tom. Yes, that's it. Good. Well done. And are there any other meanings there? There are some, but some of them are almost the same, and we have to understand them. So. Um, and then I borrowed the books from the library. It's more flat. All the yeah, sentences. So, so if you borrowed the books, that means you have to concentrate on the word steal because the didn't works with steal. So the didn't can be didn't steal the books. The didn't could be it wasn't the library. The didn't could be didn't steal. Here it's didn't steal. So I borrowed the I books borrowed. from the library. I didn't steal them. I borrowed the books from the library. I didn't steal the books. And from the then library. emphasize is in borrowed. So the borrowed and steal must match. So you say, okay. I didn't steal the books from the library, I borrowed the I books. I borrowed the books from the library. Okay. Okay. Kim, thanks. if your microphone doesn't work, you, you must listen from the outside, please, because I need everybody on the mic in the room. Sorry, Amanda, because um, I, I, did, I wasn't ignoring you, but uh, I know sometimes the the bottom line keeps changing order for me on the screen and I'm working along. Okay. So, um, okay. okay, that's great. So, that's far enough, fair enough. Let, <laughs> let's, uh, let's just do, finish the lesson by reading the one, example E, I borrowed the books from the library, I didn't steal them, I borrowed them. Can you just read it through once more? Myself. It, yeah, using the original sentence. Me? Yes, you okay. again. And just so okay. remember, you've got to emphasize so steal I, I, and borrow. I said, I didn't steal them. I borrowed the books from the library. Yes. And uh, I, borrowed I would it. say, so I didn't steal the books from the library. I borrowed them. Good. Okay. So I'm going off to my next lesson now. I'm going to speak about the UK and. Um, maybe ask some questions. So thank you all. Let's see you again. Okay, thank you. Bye. Right, thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.